motivational? Yes. Did it get you going? Yes. Did it get you set up for the morning? Yes. Or for the rest of the day? Yes. That's exactly what it was intended to do. From the point of view of how often do we not fill ourselves? How often is it that it takes one person to say something to us and we then look to the negative? We then believe what they say. We then think, I'm not good enough. We then think, actually, now's not the right time. We're given an opportunity to do something and we don't often take it. My mum always said to me, don't look at gift horse in the mouth. When you get an opportunity, take it. Now I will tell you a little bit about that story later on, but what I'm here to tell you about is something called mindfulness. Raise your hand if you've heard about mindfulness. Okay, raise your hand if you practice mindfulness. Oh, some of you, good, good. Well, I'm going to give you my experience and my interpretation of mindfulness. So telling you a little bit about myself, my name is Coach Astrid, and what I do with my clients is I talk to them um, about how they can level up and how mindfulness can actually help to do that. Also as well, um, I actually do a number of different things. I won't tell you how old I am yet, but I do, I've done a number of different things over my life. Um, I've travelled, um, I've done, I was a professional gymnast, um, I teach exercise now, I do loads and loads of different things, and I have been doing it for a number of years. And I use all of that experience through mindfulness. Now the reason I'm uh, practicing mindfulness is very much from the point of view that um, I have learnt that even though I'm an excitable person, even though I'm an energetic person, what will happen is there are times where I actually need to kind of just chill a bit and just stop and think and not be influenced by what goes on externally. So let me see if this sounds like you. Do you find it hard to disconnect from media these days? Because it's everywhere. Lockdown, pandemic information, work and leaving you distracted and irritable instead of energetic and fully present for your partner and your loved ones. How about some of us, I'm going to I'll, I'll admit to that one, um, how many of you have gained more weight than you care to want to talk about? Oh, I see a few hands going up there, thank you for the honesty. Um, through stress, poor eating habits and lack of consistent exercise. It all happened over the last year to 18 months. But also, are you running at 50% of your energy 100% of the time? Yeah, I can see a few nods and a few smiles there. Okay, so what would this mean to you? Having better loving relationships with yourself. Because it starts with you. It doesn't start outside of you, it starts with you with your partner, with your children. What would that mean to you if you could actually do that in the way in which you want to do it? So, mindfulness is a way that you can actually make that happen. But like with anything, it's also about thinking, well, how am I gonna do that? When am I gonna do that? Because quite often, if I said to you, Raise your hand if you wish you had more time. Raise your hand if you wish you had more time. Thank you very much. Okay. So, if we had more time, what would you do with it? You'd use it more constructively, right? So that you can have everything that you want. Yeah? So, what is mindfulness? It's an awareness of the present that can be applied to the situation. So, at the moment... I'm being aware of all of you in front of me. I'm being aware of my present. I'm being aware of something going on over there. I'm aware of 
everything that's happening in the movement, I can hear myself talking, I can feel myself breathing. It's about being aware of this present moment in time without any distraction. It's about a meditation when you focus on being in the moment without interpretation or judgment. How often do we look at something and we assess it and we judge it? And then when we do that, Shem, I haven't got a flip chart here, but if you look at the word assume and break it down, first three letters, as, then the you, and then me. So when you assume, you make an ass of you and me. <laughs> yeah? So it's about, without interpretation or judgment, being open-minded about a particular situation. But also, it involves breathing. It involves guided imagery, which relaxes the body and the mind, because we need to do both, which reduces the stress and helps you to focus on what, you know, it helps you to focus more positively on what is to come. What is mindfulness meditation? It is a, it's applied practice for a specific amount of time. It is a practice of non-judgmental, intentional awareness of the present. And it strengthens the area of the brain responsible for memory, learning, attention, self-awareness, and it also calms the nervous system. So, the types of mindfulness meditation, for those of you who've never really looked at it in this much depth before, is body scan, where you can lie down and do it, or you can be seated to do it. It's movement, so if any of you know about Tai Chi or yoga or Pilates, it's purposeful movement at the time. But also, it involves breathing as well. Slow and steady breaths. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've actually done something for you where we're actually gonna have a go, and we're gonna practice mindfulness. Okay, so a couple of instructions. I want you to put your feet flat on the floor. So move everything off your lap. Put your feet flat on the floor. Put everything down. I want you to rest your hands on your lap. Okay? I want you to close your eyes. And I want you just to listen to my voice. So I want you to think about self-care. It's about giving the best of you, not what is left of you. If something is important enough, we will look to do it. So what I want you to do is to take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Take another nice deep breath in and breathe out. We're going to do that one more time. Take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Now I'm going to use the chakras to help you. I just want you to breathe. There are seven chakras. There's the root chakra at the base of the spine and tailbone area. The sacral chakra below the belly button, but above the pubic bone. Solar plexus, the upper abdomen and core. The heart chakra, unconditional love, compassion and connection with others. The throat chakra, for verbal communication, your ability for self-expression to be true to yourself via your words. The third eye, in between your eyebrows, for wisdom, intuition, imagination, and the crown chakra, the top of the head, for balance, restoration, awareness, and intelligence. Now, as you are breathing, imagine you are in a warm shower. 
and the water is running down your body, going from the top of your head, washing over your eyes, your throat, your heart, your navel, your belly, your back, and down to your toes. How amazing does that connection feel? Although the warmth is washing over you, it's making you feel strong, powerful, energized, and whole. The warmth is staying in your body. There is no disconnect, making you realize how unique and amazing you are. You are strong, you are grounded, and you are able to cope with anything. Say to yourself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I am going to make it. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I am going to make it. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I am going to make it. I am myself. I am emotionally intelligent. I am intuitive. I am a voice for myself. I am loving and have compassion. I am confident and resourceful. I am powerful and a protector. I am free within myself and I'm grateful for that freedom. I am grounded physically and therefore emotionally. This life is a beautiful life, just the way it is. I am a beautiful and unique being. I believe in myself and there is nothing I cannot do. I am grateful for my family and loved ones. And we will get through this together because our time is now. Feel the love. Connect your head with your heart. You are feeling calmer but energetic. You feel your vibration getting stronger. How much better will life become? Change is inevitable and guaranteed, but if you plan for it, it will be transformational. If you feel like this now, what will the future hold for you? Picture your favorite holiday destination. You are smiling as you can feel the love the connection between you and your loved ones who are all there with you. The sun is beating down on your body. Feel the warmth, feel your strength, power and belief getting stronger and stronger. It is filling you up from your feet through you, past your spine, to your pelvic bone, your tummy, your heart, your throat, your eyes, to the top of your head. You are filled and overflowing. Breathe in that feeling of power, courage, and self-belief. Breathe out to put those feelings out into the universe to set as your intention. Breathe in that loving, grounded, secure feeling. And breathe out connecting your head and your heart. Breathe in your willingness to be confident and believe that you will become a better version of yourself despite these unprecedented times. Breathe out that feeling into the universe, again, setting it as your intention. Breathe in your acceptance and reason for love, peace of mind at this very moment. Breathe out those feelings into the universe as well as connecting your head with your heart. Breathe in, taking the breath all the way down your body, down to your toes. And breathe out, feeling the breath coming out through you, through the top of your head. We're going to take five more deep breaths. So take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. One more time. Take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. 
God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Slowly open your eyes. I can see all of you there getting into that. But that was a very short meditation, a mindful meditation. It doesn't have to be long. But can you imagine if you do that first thing in the morning when you wake up? How will that make you feel for the rest of the day? Amazing. Thank you. It will. And I do that every day. And I've been doing it every day for years. The reason I started was because... I will go past that because we've, we've done that already. But I'll just quickly go through. Beginner's mind. What's the beginner's mind? When you do something for the first time, you're very open. So when you're doing mindfulness, it's about having a beginner's mind. Non-judging. So don't make any judgments about anything. Just accept. Let go. Because the minute you let go of something, it's almost as though a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. You're terrified to let it go. But actually, it's the letting go that makes the difference. Trust. When you are able to let go, then you can trust more. When you trust more, you're more patient. When you're more patient, it's not about striving to get things done. It's about taking your time. And also about gratitude. Being grateful for what you have. Being grateful for simple things like your family or waking up in the morning, the fact that you can breathe, the fact that you're healthy. Being grateful for exactly what you have. Practical tips that I will share with you. Be mindful first thing in the morning before you start your day. Why? Because your brain is in the mode to actually take in information first thing in the morning and last thing at night. So if you think about when you get up in the morning, you're a bit, <gasps> can't really concentrate till you've had your coffee or something like that, yeah? So just at that time is the best time to take in information that is going to help you for the rest of the day. Walk in nature if you get a chance to. Because nature just helps you relax. It helps you just, you know, enjoy your environment and what's around you. Keep a gratitude journal. I don't know whether you've ever done one before, but I will, again, share something with you right at the end. And use mindfulness apps. Now, the one I, I do recommend to everybody if you want to do it is a mindfulness app called Calm. It is 10 minutes. So to actually do that before you do anything else in the morning, you'll be surprised what impact that will have for you. And look in the mirror and say your I am affirmations. So those of you that have been following Michelle, she gives you a lot of I am affirmations. I gave you a lot of I am affirmations within that meditation. Would you believe there was 25? But you didn't realise that. And accept people for who they are. Because in relationships, in friendships, we have that argumentative point, don't we? Why? Because we're making judgments unconsciously about that person and what they've said. They've said something that's triggered us. Hence the reason why we feel the need to respond back. But if we accept people for who they are, that's less likely to happen. And what you'll find is you'll get on a lot better in that relationship, whether it be a personal relationship, a business relationship with your children, whatever that happens to be. Now, who is this person? This is my role model, coach and mentor. It is Mrs. Ina M. Phillips, who is my mum. However, sunrise was on the 3rd of May, 1938. Sunset was on the 19th of August. 2010. Now, when my mum was diagnosed with breast cancer, 
inoperable breast cancer. She lived for 32 years. Now in that time was when I learned about mindfulness more than any other time. Because in those two years, my mum never stopped. She lived every day like it was her last. She wouldn't grieve, she wouldn't get upset, she wouldn't get miserable. Whatever she wanted to do, she did. Now, if you know that you've got something that's inoperable, most people would live like they're dead. Not my mum. She was mindful enough to think, right, I don't know how much longer I've got. We always know how much money we have, we just don't know how much time we've got, right? So therefore, she lived every day like it was her last. And that's where I learned my mindfulness from, because if my mum can do that, when she knows what's happening, then I can do it. I can do it, and so can you. So, I'm Coach Astrid, Mindfulness Mindset Coach. Um, I'm also an international award-winning speaker, author, uh, founder and CEO of the World Women Academy, and qualified fitness professional. And if you ever follow me, you'll see I'm always posting about my exercise classes that I do and that kind of thing, because mindset and exercise and being fit and healthy go together. They do go together. So I'm gonna, this is, the, this is kind of what I do with my clients when I, when I do talk to them. I talk to them about mindset and do the mind movements. I talk to them about their identity and how they identify themselves. What they need, decision, the schedule, energy, and transformation. And together, on the mind state, for the, for the mindset, we do the mind state transformer, we do the growth state builder, time liberator, stop and ditch, peak performance, dream change maker, and the act efficiency, which makes up the mindful mindset system. So guys, here is the QR code. So what I'd like you to do is put your phone on, Hover over it, because I've tested it out, so it does work. So hover over it, and what you'll do is you'll be able to pick up all my information. So on Instagram, on Facebook, on Amazon, and on LinkedIn. So you should be able to hover over it, and then you can pick up all my details and then you can connect with me. So if you want any more information, or you want to work with me, here's your opportunity. So whichever one you is your favorite, whether it be Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever, then that is it. And the first person, first two people actually to message me will get my gratitude journals, which I have designed and are available on Amazon. Oh, one second, been told one second, one second. Or if you've got a QR reader, then it should work from there as well. Okay, so you should come up with what's on the left, and then you can just click on one of those, and you should be able to connect with me, send a message, link with me, follow me, whatever. Okay, has everyone got that? Excellent. If not, I'm around all day. <laughs> so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And that's me.